Hello everyone, welcome to the United Way. This is our transfer gossip and also development in terms of the market. Manchester United has uh, generally uh, tried to expand their uh, search for attackers and uh, we are now searching for a player, Sasa Galatze, and uh, obviously Benjamin uh, from uh, IB, uh, Benjamin, Benjamin Sesco uh, from uh, the Sa Salzburg, the Salzburg team, the Red Bull Salzburg team. Guys, uh, in this video, I'll tell you guys a lot about players which have to go on. United obviously has to reduce their, their uh, uh, players, uh, uh, the rate of players we do have. We have to reduce them. We're trying to reduce players. So we have to basically sell players. But United doesn't have, actually, the means of selling players. And I'm going to tell you guys why United cannot sell these players. Because it, maybe most of you don't understand what's going on with the United, Manchester United and what has been happen, happening in the past that affects us from selling players. But I'll tell you guys now. But yes, guys, before we start, please make sure you smash a like on the video like you're doing all. And I invite all of you today because the king is back. Cristiano Ronaldo will be playing the next two hours. We have a kickoff here. Cristiano Ronaldo will be playing. Uh, Manchester United is playing at Old Trafford, the only game we have before the kickoff of the season. We are playing Royal Vallecano, so if you want to um, take part in our watch alongs, which is live streaming, make sure you join us there at exactly um, in, in, in basically in two hours. Yes, so uh, let's uh, just jump into the, the video. So we know Sasa Galatze, it's a 25 years old player in, from Stuttgart, very tall guy, six foot four, very tall, very uh, aggressive. Um, I mean, he was actually, yeah, we, we, he had an interview which he recommended that he, want, he would prefer going even to Bayern Munich. But yeah, there have been reports here from the Daily Mail in the UK, an outlet in the UK saying that Manchester United are considering a mood for Sa, for Toshgat, Sasa Kalatse, and RB Leipzig, that's uh, Benjamin Sesco. This is what I just told you guys in the video. So, what can I say about these players? These are two tall players, which uh, it give, gives me the information that give me a, uh, an impression that Ten Hag really wants players who can dominate in the air because we know that's not um, that's Cristiano Ronaldo's uh, well, um, uh, 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 good point, but we know that um, Marshall is not good on the air. To be on, to be honest, and um, yeah, so uh, um, and for us to have this player, it means we have to be whipping out crosses, which and United. Yeah, this this season we have this uh, tour we have uh, increased the way our wingers play, but last season it was almost like this zero. So uh, in terms of the player, we know of uh, Sasa is someone which is uh, he 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 can score goals, but the question is is can these players be main attacker for Manchester United? Are they ready to to carry the responsibility of the team? A good cup of coffee. Would. Are they, uh, are they really ready for the team to carry out the team? That is the most difficult thing, and uh, I don't know. Tell me, guys, have you heard of this player? And tell me if you think uh, these are the profile of players we can. Because for me personally, I think we, we need players for the future. And obviously, this, this might be a good, uh, good uh, move for Manchester United. But I have, don't want to say I've watched Sasa played. Kalase. Honestly, I haven't watched a game about this guy. But I've been told he's very good on the air. But uh, in regards to Benjamin Sesco, I watched the game, the highlights against um, uh, Liverpool, and I could see why teams are interested about the guy's future. I can see why he's referred to as the next uh, 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 Holland, no, uh, Holland of, of um, um, the world football. So, um, uh, yeah, but the question here is that when you look at the two, 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 the two players, we will definitely go for one. And uh, which of them do you think United is going to go for? Considering my view is considering that Manchester United is a club which is very good, or very interested about the bottom line. These two players cost differently. One costs seventeen million pounds, which is Sasa Kalatse, and the other player costs, uh, which is um, Benjamin Sesko, which is nineteen, uh, has cost uh, fifty-five million pounds. So Sasa Kalatse is twenty-five. He costs seventy-five million, uh, seventeen million pounds, while. Uh, uh, Tesco costs uh, 55 million pounds. So these are very, uh, uh, um, not, not, you, can, you can just see the difference. The difference might be the difference of quality, but also it has something to do with the amount of years they do have in their contracts. So it is clearly that if United wants to go for, uh, to, uh, to, 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 to go for someone which is cost effective in terms of value, they will definitely go for Sasa Kalatse. And um, 
because we know how Manchester United, the board, how they do react with such situation. But uh, it is one is one thing which is clear is United really wants to go for a young player, and that young player uh, definitely it's uh, that young player definitely the player that we, we think that can learn for a year if Cristiano Ronaldo stays or can be more productive for next year if it happens that um if it happens that uh, uh we 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 lose uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and also this is the type of um, uh, players that Rangnick talked about I don't know if you guys really listen to Rangnick Ralph Rangnick was like a philosopher in terms of football he talked about Manchester United needs to need to stop bringing players of uh, great um great players of great good marketing players or world star with Manchester United need to focus on bringing players who want that second contract and who wants to prove something. So uh, smash a like on the video if United, you, you support United to reinforce their team. We'll talk a little bit about the young. We'll talk about players who are leaving, uh, uh, leaving Manchester, who have to leave Manchester United. And this is, and talk a little bit also about Anthony. Just let's start with Anthony. The reason why Anthony has to, uh, cannot come here, we, uh, that is because... His value. Ajax has put almost 100 million euros on, on Anthony's transfer, and uh, you can understand that because uh, the season will be will be starting soon, and Ajax have sold almost the whole team, honestly. And uh, yeah, yeah, yesterday I saw a picture Anthony kissing the Ajax badge, the badge, which shows which um, gives me a little bit of uh, less hope that Anthony is going to stay. Uh, is going to come to Manchester United because all this gesture that they they do that for the media because they do understand what's going on obviously uh, with the media and uh, to give some confidence also with the fans. So I wonder if Anthony is going to come to Manchester United. That is my st uh, my my stance for now personally. I don't think Man Anthony will be. It's a 50-50. So that's my my view. Also in regards to De Jong. As I said to you, and I think we shouldn't talk this if we take very few seconds. The young situation is simple. They owe, the young is old money. Uh, oh, some of money, like twenty plus pounds, and uh, he had a contract. So the De young story is a long, long one. When during the COVID situation, I guess you all of you know, you guys follow football. Guys, when the COVID situation started, De young to the co a salary cut. So uh, if the, um, that and uh, Barcelona had to refund them, they refund them. But the issue here is very simple. The thing is that the the guys who signed this contract with Barcelona, it is still the club. This is a do different regime, Barcelona, right? Laporte, yeah, and uh, they are trying to get a salary structure. In the coming weeks, Barcelona has to sign players. Barcelona has to actually register players. So you see the KC playing, the Lebadosi, they are not registered in the Spanish league yet. They are not. So for them to register, there's something called financial fair play. So I hope this helps you guys. There's something called financial fair play. Financial fair play, you need to know about, it is kind of calculate the money, the, the, the finance you use in a season. And they have to be a, 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 a player cap in terms of salary, because the, Span in terms of salary because the Spanish league has done that. So Barcelona are trying to convince the young to take a lower salary a, or a salary cut in order to continue to live, uh, to work to play with the young. The young claims that Barcelona is his best team, is his team, and, um, but he's not ready to cut. So there is an issue. Why is the young not going to Manchester United? The reason why he's not going is because if the young starts saying, I want to go to Manchester United, he's writing off. So he's canceling all the money owed. So he goes to Manchester United and don't end anything. But you know, like you, like me, like De Young, we all love the cash. We won't give it away. So De Young has just uh, is just sitting back and saying, "Okay, he's very relaxed and saying I don't want to get a salary cut and uh, I'm not ready to change the contract." So this will be a long one, and that's why you see Barcelona started. I am very sure now. I think I I was eighty percent sure Bar um, De Young will come to to Manchester United. Except he agrees a pay cut, which will, will make him look like a, I don't want to say an idiot, like a clown. Um, he will be a Manchester United player. That's that's clearly my opinion. De Jong. So uh, that those the story will develop. But, but uh, let's go to say the other uh, stories, which I mean, United have to get, get players out. But the problem with United is that we do pay a lot on players, right? A player like 
Eric Bay's salary. Eric Bay earns 100,000 pounds a week. Can you imagine? Phil Jones haven't played for ages. He earns, but United pays him every week 80,000 pounds. You have the young uh, uh, defender who, who played for Norwich last week, last year, and how did they call him? Defender. He was by Oli. His name just went out of my, 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 my mind. He earns 50 million. And this is a guy who has not played for ages. Honestly, this is a guy who hasn't played for ages. And this is a guy which is not, he is not even an international. But these players, they earn money, which top clubs have to be paying their players. So this is, um, this is something with United. This is why it is hard for United to dish out players. That's why to sell players. Why? Because they are players and a lot of salary. For United to sell players, they need to write off a lot of cash. And that is why it's difficult for us. If you're talking about bringing De Jong, let me say De Jong comes to Manchester United. We make him the highest paid player as it is written now. We make him the highest paid player and he earns 400k or 450k in terms of salary. And um, then it doesn't work. And we need to dish the young out. We need to sell the young players. Who is going to pay that salary? It's just the same thing that we had with, with, um, with the Chilean who, who, who was with Manchester United. I don't know where he is today. Sanchez. So Manchester United is in a very tricky situation. They need to do things right. The biggest problem with Manchester United today is not even the players. who. The biggest problem is that... I have said this tired and I will still say it because new, new people come into the channel and, and listen also is that the biggest problem we have, which I think most of you know, is just that we have, they call them the board, a bunch of people who are not football people, who are not fan of Manchester United, who are business people, who are making decisions, football decisions, so they will hardly get it right. So honestly, the average Manchester United fan knows pretty much well what they get in Manchester United, but these guys are all about the bottom line. So um, uh, that is why it's going to be really a stretch for us to, to, co to come back, to compete with, play with clubs like uh, Liverpool. I watched the, the Charity Cup yesterday, the, the goals and the highlights as, as well today morning. And you can see Liverpool and Manchester City are way ahead of us. Not only in the fitness level, but the way they, uh, the, the hunger of the team, the way they play as a group. Yes, there have been some good moments here with Manchester United, but... Honestly, when you look at how these two teams play, you can see United has a long way to get into this level. So um, that's a, a tough one and something we need to really think about. So as I do like to do uh, short, uh, 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 for short videos on this channel, the main uh, news here was that Manchester United are in search of an attacker. Since uh, the game we played yesterday, I think... Uh, Ten Hag has come to an agreement that we need an attacker with a size, someone which can uh, dominate uh, and bring issues on a defender because uh, we, we don't have that caliber of a player. And Cristiano Ronaldo, we are not sure about his future. So we have talked about uh, play Manchester United's interest in a 19 years old player in, uh, Benjamin, uh, in, in Benja Benjamin and also um, and, 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 oh, uh, Benjamin Sesco. And also Sasa Kalate, sorry. So these are the two players who Manchester United are interested in in terms of our attack. Benjamin, um, Benjamin uh, Sasa, Benjamin Sesco, sorry, uh, is worth 55 million pounds. That's a lot of money for a 19 year old with just one year experience in uh, the Austrian league. And you have 70 million pounds for Sasa, Sesca, for Sasa, uh, Sasa um, Kalate. So guys, tell me what you think. You think Sasa Kalatse and Benjamin Sesko are the right profile players for Manchester United? Do you think United should scrub this deal for, to scrub the to scrub the deal of uh, Anthony and go for these players? Drop your comments below and tell me. And uh, I would like to read a comment which was read by uh, one of our, our subscribers because in future, guys, I will be reading. If you drop a good comment, I will read it. We have Lab Labuni. Garrison, this is not the first time he's given the comment. He said, if we don't see attacking options arriving, the results will only get worse against Premier League opposition. Man United simply has to spend on quality players, including the Brazilian Antony. Success has never been cheap in the Premier League. So Garrison is spot on. Garrison, as someone who has always comes out with very cracking comments, and uh, Garrison, the question goes to you. Do you think these are good replacers? Do you think these are good attackers that United need? going forward so uh, i don't know what to say i don't know what to say but 
Today, let's watch the game. But today, we are going to see Ronaldo's comeback. We will, hopefully, he's going to get some minutes. I'm waiting for all of you guys on the watch along. Tune on the watch alongs. We'll have some more uh, discussion and extend this discuss this dialogue on the watch along. With that all said, talk to you soon. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Ciao, ciao.